found out where that goes. Bolts on the engine. It's always good not to have bits left over. Well, yeah. So these are called CV joints, constant velocity joint. So it'll move in any motion. So as your suspension goes up and down, that's obviously rotating to drive the wheel through the hub. That fits in there. Was this the part on the Ford that you were trying to get in when you first put the engine back in? Yeah, on the back. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's a, called a ball joint, not a CV joint. So when the suspension goes up and down on the back, Basically the whole lot pivots from there. So you just got one prop shaft solid goes all the way through and it pivots from here. There you go. So what's the difference between a CV joint and a ball joint then? Uh, much more movement on a constant velocity joint. You wouldn't get that much. Yeah. So that obviously lets your steering work because that's in a fixed plane at that end on the gearbox. So it's your steering work and your suspension work. Obviously whilst rotating as well so it does every motion so you just got pack them full of grease put the rubbers on then they'll be ready because these just slide into the other end so they'll be bolted to the car well they're not bolted to the car they're bolted to these it's called donuts got a little there like that so that's your drive knuckle and your drive shaft goes in the end of there okay We've got our cup there, stop dirt getting in and grease getting out. We mm -hmm. fill that up with horrible grease. It's graphite grease, I think. And it's got plenty of that in there. Slide him up onto there. And it'll just sit nice and snug. Our cable tie around there. Yeah, it's got like a dish in it, so you want to make sure you get your cable tie in that groove. Okay. Get nice and tight. That in there, make sure I don't catch the splines. And then push all the grease down into the joint, it's just easier than whacking it all in there and getting it everywhere. A goo round. Again, there's a groove in there, see? So then you want to make sure that's back over the groove. And get your smaller cable tie on there. Originally, they were like metal clips. Stops all the grease coming out and all the road traffic film and all that going in. A cable tie is better than metal clips. Just ease of use, that's all it is, just a modern modern version of, that's all it is. Right, so that's that one done. Do the other one quickly. One short and one long for the offset on the gearbox. That's your inner boot, that goes onto that groove there, obviously that's a lot smaller. The easiest way of doing it, instead of faffing around in there with a screwdriver in case you scratch it, is just roll it inside out. Pull it over, like that down to where you want it and then peel it back and that's where you want it otherwise you've got a chance of putting a screwdriver through it if you know what I mean right that's that and I won't put this together as such at the moment but that's then your inner as your suspension suspension goes up and down obviously that's a fixed point that's a fixed point as it travels up and down, it needs to slide. So you've got a sliding joint there as well. Okay. So you've got that motion, you've got your sliding motion, you've got your rotational motion, and you've got your steering motion. So Good. all in all, quite a clever bit of kit really.
shotgun done. That's a two drive shaft built. That's the original colour paint. Where do you get the name of the or the code for the paint from? Is it all online? Yeah, it's just BMC green. So that'll have a good good stir up for ten minutes. Make sure because it's proper block engine paint so it withstands the heat and everything. Yeah. That's original there. So I mean obviously it's dulled down over the years. There's a bit under there that's right. See it? That ain't far off once that's dried, you know? Hmm. So, got to go get nuts and bolts, paint brushes, go painting. Next week on the workshop. So, if you decided, sod it, I'm just going to leave it, what would happen? Eventually it'll wear through the spring and then you've got no top spring. Okay. And that would be not good. So if you're thinking of cutting corners? Don't go there. Never good.